is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. We'll open with a live look from Woodland Park. It's dry now, but very heavy rain up and down Ute Pass just about an hour ago. Manitou Springs, that's what it looks like right now. There's Fountain Creek flowing through Manitou Springs, still rolling real low. It's going to come up a little bit, certainly not to the levels that we saw on Monday. Flash flood warning still active until 8 15 tonight along Ute Pass, stretching from Woodland Park all the way down into Manitou Springs. No rain falling across that area right now, but you could still see some high water from the burn scar all the way into uh, the Ute Pass area stretching from Manitou Springs up into Woodland Park along Fountain Creek. So just be cognizant of that. Here's what happened. Thunderstorms just exploded over Woodland Park right about an hour ago, hour and a half ago, had some very heavy rain that pushed down Ute Pass, but everything really decreasing in intensity right now. Just a couple of light rain showers far east side of the springs and also the far southeast side, especially stretching from security wide field into Fountain Pueblo. A couple of raindrops from the city all the way out to the Mesa right now. Heavier rains as you head out Highway 78 right now. Going to see that shower activity continue in Pueblo off and on for the next hour or two. Still have a flood advisory active. This is basically open country southeast of Colorado City, Pueblo County into Huerfano County. Could see some high water across some of the small streams and creeks across that area. Plenty of dangerous cloud to ground lightning though with that complex of thunderstorms off to the southeast of Colorado City. Thunderstorms just missed Pueblo about two hours ago and then pushing down to the south and east. That's where all the heavy rain is right now. But again, in Pueblo, you still have some thunderstorm activity up to the northwest of you. I don't think it's going to amount to much, but again, as that pushes to the southeast, we'll keep a few showers in that Pueblo forecast. Here's your big weather story. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. Cold front moved through earlier this afternoon, sits down to the south of us. Tomorrow we'll have a moist upslope flow at the surface, northwest flow up above. Certainly going to be a humid day by eastern Colorado standards, and it's going to be a mild day. Afternoon highs tomorrow quite a bit cooler from what we had today. We will see thunderstorms develop over the higher elevations, and I think a couple of those thunderstorms could push across the I-25 corridor, and it really is a classic setup for strong to severe thunderstorms with that northwest flow colliding with that uh, lower level southeast flow. That's a shear in the atmosphere, so again, strong to severe thunderstorms, a possibility. Here's your hour-by-hour -hour forecast tomorrow morning. Opening with sunshine, going to be nice and cool. It's going to be a beautiful morning around here. Thunderstorms starting to fire up between 12 and 1 across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Those thunderstorms will slowly push off to the east. Thunderstorms again could have heavy rain and hail in some areas tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Then we'll be watching for those severe thunderstorms out across the eastern plains late tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow night. Pueblo, your high today, 97 degrees, hotter than where you should be this time of the year in the springs. Take a look at that. That's just in the past couple of hours, over six tenths of an inch of water out at the airport where the official readings are taken. Certainly rain cooled in the spring, 63 right now. Pueblo, current temperature of 80 degrees. Our lows tonight dropping down into the 50s and 60s. Afternoon highs tomorrow noticeably cooler. We're talking about highs 10 to almost 15 degrees cooler than what we had today. We'll take that. In Colorado Springs, thunderstorms could bring heavy rain and hail tomorrow. That's why you've got that green two on the impact scale. A lesser chance of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms on Friday. Good chance of storms over the weekend, and I think maybe severe thunderstorms firing up again by Sunday afternoon. That's why you've got that green two. Still keeping thunderstorms in the forecast Monday, Tuesday, even into Wednesday of next week in Pueblo. Rain showers, thunderstorms in the mix, pretty common for this time of the year, late July into early August. Afternoon high temperatures really comfortable for the next several days right into the weekend with highs only in the 80s. That's a little rare for late July. By next Tuesday, afternoon highs rebound into the 90s, staying there. Mid 90s, the hot stuff returns by the middle part of next week. And in Canyon City, PM thunderstorms, that's the main message with that extended forecast. A chance each and every day. We'll be watching you very closely for the possibility of flash flooding. We know you took a direct hit on Monday. And in Woodland Park, rain showers, thunderstorms. It's going to be a way of life for at least the next seven days. Rain showers could uh, be real heavy across the area again tomorrow, but we'll keep those strong to severe thunderstorms likely tomorrow and then again on Sunday. All right, quick check on traffic right now. One big crash to make you aware of. Shoulder is blocked. I-25 southbound north of Garden of the Gods. You want to avoid that area if you can. And some very heavy volume. Take a look at that up and down I-25, both northbound and southbound. So you have to pack your patience on I-25 right now. Guys? Mike, thanks. Plans move.